Hello and welcome to another session of For Sanity's Sake, an art making circle for moms and caregivers. I'm Bo, your resident mom and caregiver. Um, today I'm going to dedicate about 12 minutes to making some art. You are invited to join me. Um, I'd love to work on something together. Um, just so you know how I'm doing today, I'm feeling rather low. Um, just got some personal stuff and really the weight of the world is catching up to me a little bit. So the idea of filling this page again with something for me is quite overwhelming. So instead I'm going to do some collage. So I grabbed one random sheet of paper that I had on my floor. You're invited to do the same. If you want to rip something out of a magazine or, um, you want to use like the outside of a cereal box or, um, you have like a newspaper floating around, or honestly, you can take a piece of paper, doodle on it, and then use that. Um, I just chose this one because it was very nearby, and it's beautiful blue color, which I think matches my mood a little bit. So I have this one sheet of paper, and I have liquid glue, and I have 12 minutes. So let's not delay, let's just get started. I'm going to take a second to breathe, as always. <sighs> and try to find some light and gratitude in this tough time. Start my 12 minute timer and get started. Um, I'm sure I have scissors around here somewhere, but I don't know where they are. So I'm just gonna rip this up into pieces, into strips apparently. Um, as usual, this is all about process. This is all about just sort of taking some time for yourself. So even if you do have scissors, you know, don't feel the need to cut or tear the paper in any type of way. Um, this is really just about using our hands and using our brains in a different way. Uh, so whatever you're doing is perfect. This beautiful piece of, of photography and probably digitally manipulated, I unfortunately don't have the artist's name. Um, I just ripped a page out of a magazine, Broccoli Magazine, which I have a subscription to. There's beautiful art and like really fun articles and stuff in it um, that I sometimes use in my, not my work, but um, I use it sort of as a way to help get inspiration for the work that I do. I, I like make collages <clears throat> before I make a piece sometimes and so a lot of the work from Broccoli Magazine is super evocative so as you can tell <laughs> like just the strip look at all the the vibes radiating off of this piece of paper so um, I if you have go-to um, things like that in your in your home where you it just makes you look twice hold on to it maybe because you might want to use it for a collage project or something else all right, so um, yeah, so this is me kind of just trying to maybe jumpstart my brain a little bit. I don't really even know, but I have been feeling down and out and I am trying to release that. So I thought, why fight it? You know, I don't want to make, I don't want to take out paint. I don't want to take out pencils. I don't want to take out markers. So I'm just kind of not going to. There are only so many places in life where we can control our, our choices and or our reactions to things. So this is my <laughs> art project. So if I decide that I don't want to paint, then I'm not gonna. So here we are. So again, without really thinking about it too much, I am just gonna glue these down to the paper. Also, if you don't have paper to glue or tape the stuff down on, that's totally fine. Um, I was thinking about making my collage just directly onto my, my cutting mat, but again, that felt overwhelming to me. So feel free to use whatever materials you got, whatever is like feeling like the right choice for you. I was thinking because I knew that I wanted to record this morning. It is a rainy day. The kiddo is at the zoo. 
I have a lot on my to-do list and so I'm having the opportunity to get stuff done. So I knew I wanted to record, but I had this like ugh, dread, quite honestly, because I did not want to paint and I didn't want to draw because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed by it all. And then I just realized, you know, there's not one way to do anything. I have the ability to just sort of like be honest about where I am emotionally, be honest about where I am with my work and my ambitions <laughs> and, um, that I can make work to match my mood and I can kind of live my life to match my mood today. So I can find the energy to, you know, do fun activities and stuff with the kid. But today is probably going to be a more low key version of me than he's used to getting. And I, th I mean, it's going to have to be okay. I was about to say, I think that's okay, but it's going to have to be okay. Because that's just real. That's just really how I'm feeling. And it takes so much energy to fight it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to lie to myself. And I don't want to lie to him. And I don't want to lie to you about how I'm feeling. I'm not good at faking it. So I'm not going to. So I'm running out of paper, but that's okay because I only put glue in small areas, so I'll probably just tear off more. Um, I tore it and it was all kind of mangled anyway, and so it's everything's kind of curling up, which I like. It's giving me like a 3D vibe, so I'll probably lean into that as I finish this base layer. And I'd love, you know, feel free to take a minute to see what the paper or whatever material you're working with, how it's responding to what you're doing. And then just same thing, like we're matching our moods, match the mood of the material. You got to like work with what you have. Don't um, feel the need to fight against it. If it's curling up, you know, maybe that's the universe telling you like, yeah, today is, today is kind of a curly day. Today is a 3D day. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go with that. And I'm actually going to give myself a bit of, you know, accolade, a bit of a pat on the back for being able to admit to myself, you know, that like I just wasn't feeling it. Because so often um, I will, this has everything to do with how I was raised, just kind of like fake it or mm, just not really come to terms with how I was feeling and just kind of decide like, oh, I need to be this way today. I need to be cheerful today. I'm supposed to be cheerful. Um, I have to change or adjust my energy for what, for whom, for what reason, still unclear, but those are kind of requirements that were placed on me and are placed on most women and girls generally. Um, and so it feels really good and I'm really proud of myself for leaning in to my actual feelings because it's okay, we're human. And not every day is a banger. So we've talked about using art as a way to name your feelings based on what you're creating. What is it telling you about how you feel? And you can do it the other way. Also, you can just really take a minute to sit with yourself and think about, okay, how am I feeling? And be okay with whatever the answer is. Because it's not always going to be happy and cheerful and joyful and grateful and energetic especially when you're responsible for taking care of other people it's for me easy to feel like that's my responsibility you know to be that way for them and um, I'm not sure that that's true 
They don't need to get an inauthentic version of me. I don't want to give an inauthentic version of me. <laughs> so I can just decide that that's not happening. I don't only have to make decisions based on other people. You know, I can make them based on my own. This whole project is really just me giving myself pep talks. So if any of this resonates with you, that's ideal. I imagine that that's why you're... That's why you're here. That's why you're participating. Or maybe you watch this on mute and you have no idea what I'm saying. You just want to watch me work and or you just want to work with somebody else, make art with somebody else. Either way, I'll take it. All right. How far into this are we? Jeez. So almost 10 minutes has passed. We're almost done. Um, I'm going to start to wrap this up, I guess. I'm just going to take a long, hard look at it (sighs) and think about the direction it's going. what I want to do next. Okay. I think I know. Um, I am an abstract artist, not always, (laughs) but sometimes that's sort of a benefit of being self-taught is like, if you don't know how to do the things that you want to do in like a very literal way, just make yourself an abstract artist and then you can do them in, um, in ways that are reminiscent of the thing, or you can do your version of it and then see what you find. And so what I am seeing is essentially a portrait of some sort um, deep in here. And so I'm going to try to bring it to life in the next three minutes. Um, In an abstract way, of course. And as I've mentioned, a thousand times before this isn't about the outcome it doesn't actually matter what I'm what I'm making what I'm creating so don't you don't necessarily have to take on my interest in alluding to real forms with my work um, you know however whatever you're working on comes out Uh, is good enough, you know, is sufficient enough. I'm super interested in seeing how after I do this, um, how I feel after I finish this work and finish recording and I can check this off of my to-do list, those illustrious to-do lists that haunt us constantly, um, how that changes my mood very interesting to make sort of like melancholy work that immediately gives you energy and makes you feel happy. And then you're like, Oh shit, what do I do now? I created this cause I was in like a mood. And then if I, I won't, but if I were to come back to this or wanted to, um, wanted to just sort of examine it, I'd be doing it from a totally different context. What's funny is that this is actually giving me um, Barbie energy. And I know Barbie is in the zeitgeist. So that's not entirely a surprise. Let's see. I'm going to do these, this one, on top of this. Oh, there's my alarm. This is the first time I have two phones for one of these records so I can set an alarm so that I actually know when I've reached my limits. I'm at 12 minutes, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up. Um, But thank you so much for joining me for today. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, If anything, maybe if I were to say that I got anything out of this, maybe it was just for me to feel a little bit of, a little bit more permission to just sort of like feel my feelings and remember that I'm not responsible for lying to myself as a way to take care of other people because, you know, my responsibility is to take care of myself as well. And so me pretending is not me taking care of myself. And so look at me getting to own 
own that energy, own my emotions, and then saying like, this is what I'm going to do with them. This is how I'm going to be responsible for myself. And this is how I'm going to react, you know, because just because I am in a shitty mood doesn't mean that I am a shitty caregiver. It doesn't mean that I am a shitty mom. It just means I'm like exhibiting that it is okay to feel however I'm feeling for my child. And I can just tell him like, yeah, mommy's kind of blue today, but still really happy to be here with you. And um, I'm still here to have fun with you. And I don't know, maybe that's my way of like breaking this cycle that I was born into of pretending, which doesn't really add very much to my life and teaching my kid it's okay to do something different. And here we are like breaking problematic cycles and bringing sort of like new energy. Uh, to the next generation. All right, I got to stop. So this is the end for me. Um, I'd love to see what you created and or what you learned about how you're feeling and how does that correlate to your work or how you approached your work. I'd love to know what you think about the one image collage. Um, it's not all art is easy. Um, so this is, I was going to say, this is not hard, but, um, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So, uh, challenge you to do it and then to feel good about whatever comes out of it. Okay. So we are going to sign this and we are going to name this. So as always, I am the stay at home mom creative. You can follow me on S A H M creative on insta and that's the url for my youtube channel as well um and so we are going to title this bullfighters and it is august 15th sign your work date your work title your work enjoy your work feel good about your work Feel good about your life, even if you don't, you're still doing it and you're doing a great job and the people in your life are so lucky to have you, as am I. Uh, looking forward to connecting next time. Adios. <laughs>